Today I'm in North Florida hunting for the ancient ancestor to the megalodon shark, Ototus auriculitis, and I'm going to be diving a river that produces a variety of colors in the shark tooth blades. Sometimes the teeth are red, sometimes they're a pumpkin orange, sometimes they're mustard yellow, and the rare ones are jade green, and I love hunting North Florida for that very reason, the varieties in color. Can't wait to get started. Here we go. So one of the many things that I love about the North Florida rivers are the springs that feed them. These crystal clear, ice cold springs that flow right out of the aquifer. And have a look at the contrast where the crystal clear water meets the river water with tannin. Isn't that beautiful? As soon as I hit the water, I am pumped. As my fossil hunt begins, I start in shallow water, searching for bone or gravel patches. These are two things that tell me teeth may be in the area. I love the red color of the shallow water, but moving into deeper water, the sunlight disappears and powerful dive lights become necessary to see the bottom. I'm always hopeful that I'll see a nice fossil laying out, but in this river, most of my shark teeth are found fanning in cracks or searching through deep sand or gravel. As I look through the depths, I never know what I may find. I'm hopeful that there may be a mastodon tooth or a mammoth tooth. When it finally happens, I'm so excited and grateful. A 40 million year old auriculitis shark's tooth, and it's a beauty. The great grandfather to the megalodon shark. I get so excited when I find these large museum quality horse teeth. The color and preservation make them so unique to this river. This is a fossil archaeocete whale vertebra from a 40 million year old extinct whale. Look at the preservation, absolutely stunning. As I make my way through the shallow water, I continue to search for new areas. I stumble upon a crack in the limestone that has two beautiful fossils, a fossil horse tooth and a gorgeous orange and red auriculitis shark's tooth. How incredible are these? These places are so cool. I feel like I could swim up on anything in a place like this. Mammoth bones, mastodon bones, incredible shark's teeth. I'm so excited to be here. This place looks prehistoric and I love it. As I sink below the surface, the fossils keep coming. Another pristine horse tooth. Here's another beautiful horse tooth exhibiting gorgeous river polish and again a beautiful patina. But this was the prize of the day, an upper lateral auriculitis shark's tooth, absolutely mint quality. Three of my favorite darker teeth that I found on the dive, absolutely beautiful examples. And look at this location, it doesn't get any prettier. Here's an Eocene aged mako tooth. Again, brilliant color. This color caused by the minerals in the water. I was so excited about this auriculitis tooth because it had a little bit of green. As soon as I started fanning, it popped out of the hole. I almost missed it. And look at this, a pumpkin orange ice age bison tooth. Are you kidding me? Look how beautiful this is. Mother nature at its best. I scored some amazing shark's teeth today and some beautiful horse teeth and other mammal fossils. It's heading towards the end of the day. 
I'm out of air or I'd still be in the water. But it's just so beautiful exploring the banks of this ancient river. A lot of times I end up staying out in these places until long after dark because... Oh, they're just too cool. Whoa. Whoa, look at what I just walked up on. There is an overhang over there. So this is cool. I just found a spot. If it was storming, or if I need to get, needed to get out of the hail or freezing rain, that's where I'd go to that overhang right there. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at this. So neat. Look at the water. Look how pretty this is. It's all tiger striped in the quartz sand. This little cover, this little shelter is so cool. I have to wonder if thousands of years ago, you know, a Native American saw the same little overhang and thought, what a cool little spot to hang out. You know, I bet sometimes it's dry. It would be the perfect little place to camp and uh, have a little fire and just chill out with the fish that you caught for the day. Look at that. How cool is this? Man. It's shaped. You can see how it's shaped. It's shaped just like a barrel and wave. Here is one of the fossil echnoids I was talking about. And this is ancient. This is uh, roughly 40 million years old. I don't know if you can see the star pattern on there. But here is a different species of echnoid that I found on the bottom of the river. And as you can see, the river turned it very dark. This beautiful limestone is the remnants of the ocean bottom from 40 million years ago, which is why you find echinoids, shark's teeth, whale fossils, uh, things that you would find in the ocean eroding out of it. And day after day, year after year, century after century, this river flows through this limestone formation and slowly erodes all of these incredible fossils. And if you're somebody like me who likes to scuba dive in this dark river, occasionally you get lucky and you find one of the fossils that's been washed out of the limestone. And over centuries, the tannins in the water and the iron in the water changes the color, changes the look of these teeth and gives them those beautiful red patinas or the jade green, and sometimes mustard yellow. Absolutely stunning. You can see a bunch of that limestone on the far bank over there as well. And all of these rivers in Florida are different. You know, they all leave their own unique signature on the fossils. And my feeling is all these rivers are sacred too and worth protecting. There are all of these little sand boils that are ice cold coming out of the sand. That's the, the little flow of a spring that seeping through the limestone and oh man that is so nice oh that's really nice ice cold the sand almost looks like it's alive check that out how many thousands of years has that little spring been flowing right here those sands moving like they're dancing like there's little animals underneath there Look at this little bottle. Maybe a perfume bottle or some type of um, extract for food. There are these snails that burrow just under the sand and they leave all of these really cool designs. It's like some kind of um, ancient writing or cursive. It's animal code for uh, we're having a good time. Oh, look at that. There was a deer just here. Man, that was a big one. I love walking in the woods after a good day of diving, but in a situation like this, where you see all of this tall grass, that's tick country. And I can guarantee that if I walk through that, I am gonna have little seed ticks all over me. And that's not a good thing. <laughs> so, oh, another sturgeon just jumped right there. Oh, I hope he comes up again. I would love to catch that on camera. 
Come on, buddy, jump. The funny thing is that I notice when one sturgeon jumps, another one slightly down the river comes up just a few seconds afterwards. It's like, oh, it just did it. It's like they're communicating, I don't know, kind of like dolphins do when they slap the water. It's like, what's up, Joe? What's up, Mike? Splash. If you guys enjoyed today's fossil hunt and want to see more of my fossil hunting adventures, please like and subscribe.